Hello guys, Silverplay22 here, bringing you my first FIFA 17 player review, or my first FIFA 17 video of any sort. Uh, before we get into it, I'm really sorry that it's taken me a little while to get back into videos. It's been about, what, through like, two weeks, three weeks now since I did anything, and it's just kind of because there was not really anything to do. I was kind of sick of doing prediction videos because they were kind of going to be meaningless. I kind of like having stuff on the channel that's going to be meaningful for a little while, so I stopped doing them for, a, 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 yeah, just until I, I felt like I could get something out. Anyway, I've got EA access, so I thought I'd get some uh, FIFA playing, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, it's a little bit glitchy. It's a little Little bit, um, it's a little bit slow to load sometimes, and quite a lot of people I come up against seem to be having real connection issues. But overall, I'm really quite enjoying the new FIFA, and I'll talk a little bit more about what I think of it later on in the video. But for now, we're going to be reviewing the newly downgraded, um, which makes him absolutely awesome, Marco Sau. Now, Marco Sau. Um, he, he looks like a really, really amazing player when you actually get into his stats. Last year, he was just a speed demon. To be fair, the stats that he's got this year are pretty much exactly the same. He's got 92 pace, 80 dribbling, 72 shooting, se uh, 72 passing. He's got four-star weak foot, only three-star skill moves, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And he cost me 5,500. Now, obviously, that's going to rise when FIFA actually releases. Some of these stats, though, are amazing. 93 acceleration, 93 agility, 95 balance. That balance is ridiculous um, on a silver player. Uh, his skill attributes look really sweet as well, mainly high rated greens, uh, you know, sort of light greens, not the dark greens. Dark greens are kind of reserved for the really special stats like his agility. Uh, he can play striker, centre forward, as I said before, he's got high medium work rates and now we can see that he's the speedster, acrobatic and he's got injury prone, which I didn't notice at all in the 6-7 games I played with him. Now, what do I think of Marco Sao? Well, to be honest, it's kind of just like playing with a gold player, uh, but he's silver, which is it's kind of ridiculous. He plays almost identical to his card from last year yeah which was super overpowered and because he's been downgraded and he kind of feels that the same he feels even more overpowered I kind of feel like a lot of people might use this card because I think it will probably come down to the point where it's quite cheap as you can see the, the, the games were quite laggy which was super irritating um, finishing very good long range shots ironically I talk about long range shots being not that great as he just you know the clip of a decent long range shot comes on but long range shots weren't the greatest to be honest uh, pace was obviously mental could burst past any defenders I really feel like lob through ball is kind of back I'm not sure how I feel about that you know just the LBY you know one two pass LBY it seems to be working really efficiently especially at the start of FIFA Cro uh, crossing is super overpowered on this FIFA but uh, you know Marco Sal wasn't really the greatest in the air passing wise fairly decent no real complaints you know short passing was a lot better than crossing and stuff like that but more than capable of putting a decent pass together decent string of passes I feel like passing is really decent dribbling is very very good I really liked his sort of close control that agility and balance really shone through with this player. You know, really, really nice player to use right at the start of FIFA because... You want someone who's going to weave in and out of those sort of those pacey players. People are going to pick up right at the start because you know at the start of FIFA it is tends to it does tend to be about pace. And and to be honest, I am kind of getting the feeling that this FIFA might be about pace. I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments below what you kind of feel like this FIFA is about. Uh, obviously, his positives are he's got lots of pace, makes great runs. That is a massive thing. That's where the sort of lob three ball comes in. A uh, decent range of passing, not as weak as you would think. He actually, he, you know, because of his agility and balance, he held onto the ball a lot better than you would think. He doesn't get knocked over that easily he stays on his feet well and he's got really good finishing negatives wise i've said them he's not great in the air his long shots aren't the greatest and he's not very aggressive so you know he hold the ball well but to be honest he doesn't ever try to seem to win the ball back which is fine you know for a striker with lots of pace and i've given him an 8.1 out of 10 now that's just mainly because you know it's kind of the start of fifa you know my first player review i didn't want to go too high but it was very very enjoyable uh, it's also very hard to predict what the uh, price range uh, not the price ranges but the sort of the prices of players are going to be so it's hard to predict a fair price but i've said about 10 to 15k would be a more than reasonable price to play for this player and he feels like a 77 to a 79 if, if you ask me i've played you know quite a few matches so far with some gold players some silver players and i would say 77 to 79 is about where i feel like he should be um, but as I say, it's early days, guys. A lot can change. Even before FIFA actually releases, a lot can change. There could be a day one update. There could be anything. So this is just my review of Marco Sao. I really enjoyed him. I'll definitely be using him. I played him in a nice Italy squad. You didn't see it at the start there because I was kind of just experimenting with a few different players and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be doing loads of reviews, loads of squad builders at the start of FIFA. And kind of my goal for this FIFA is just kind of as far as YouTube goes, it's just kind of relax a bit more. You know, I got a little bit stressed out by the other one, trying to get out too many videos at once. 
and I think too many videos kind of spoils it for people, makes it a little bit less special. Anyway, guys, I'd love to know for NChat, what are your first thoughts on FIFA 16? Um, and also, what camera settings are you going with? Because the camera that starts on FIFA 17, I really am not enjoying it. It feels like it's far too high up. Um, and it just, yeah, it just, just makes it really hard to sort of, I'm kind of a dribbler. As opposed to, you know, somebody who's just going to ping the ball forward. Um, and it makes it quite hard to sort of get the ball um, really close control, dribbling skills, all that sort of stuff. I feel like it's a little bit too far out for that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, first thoughts on FIFA 16, pretty solid, really. You know, corners are annoying me because it seems like everyone scores every single corner. Um, I haven't really worked out how to defend them properly. Um, and, you know, as with any FIFA, I feel like, you know, you start it and you don't necessarily play as well as you think you're going to play. You know, you think it's just FIFA 16 again. Just realised I put what are your thoughts on FIFA 16, but it should be FIFA 17. So just ignore that little typo. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you like silver content, definitely subscribe because this is all silver content on this channel. And yeah, let me know in the comment below what you thought of the video and what you think of the end chat. Cheers, guys.